best Are job is that? I'm gonna pull his own in a bit of Tommy Curran. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. We're back. Oh, how good, good is this shit? Look how fun it is. Every time. How do we do it? It's like offshore. It's just glistening. It's like, because it's just been raining for months. Non-stop. Could be. Yeah, I thought it was going to rain for years. We need to hang out more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sunshine and offshore just winds. Light it up. <laughs> so good, Tom. What have we got in store today, mate? I got something special. Uh, yeah, let me, let something me special. See what you got here. It's getting me excited. It's getting me tingly. Oh, I don't know. It's a surprise package. What I even got? threw a little custom spray just because I know that's no you. Why? So oh. the red's you. Oh, this is called the free scrubber. Yeah, this is what Tom wrote in that killer Mexican. The barra sequence? Yep. Yeah. On the points there? Yeah, how beautiful. So this is the that? full kind of re-ramp of an old Tommy Curran model that I mean you probably know more than me about that you would have actually probably competed against this thing. Oh he was riding a twin fin when I first met him in uh, South Africa. It was the first time I saw him surf. And he was doing these perfect roundhouse compacts with a twenty. And he's sort of a little right hammer. I was going, oh how's this guy? Tom started to show us how to surf in a much more efficient way in, in years to come. Super progressive. After that, yeah. Let's see what Tommy Khan was onto all back yeah. then. <laughs> wasn't a surprise like I just went oh okay so that's what's going on when I was watching Tom surf you know he's got that beautiful front footed beautifully placed weight distribution over the front and that kind of the board didn't mind that at all yeah but as soon as we sort of shift back ah it just wanted to move and tuck into the turn yeah, first impressions for me after after a couple of waves was it was really easy to transition off a short board that I've been on all week. Probably the easiest transitional board I've probably jumped on nice. as far as the twin goes. Mm. I didn't have to think about it too much and it it really uh, it was really adaptable for every section that mm. came at me. I could push through calves, it, it drove, I really felt like it accelerated off that front foot. Once you, once you lock that rail in, it really accelerated back, which is funny when you mention the Tom Curran thing, when you first rocked up in the 80s and he was on this 20 that Al shaped him and he was wrapping those calves all the way around, which was probably a little hard for you guys on the single fin. Yeah. And I felt that instantly, once it got to a point facing the beach, it just wanted to go that more, so. Yeah, and that's that, that area on the front of the actual plan shape. The, and actually the volume and the kind of more flatter deck kind of allows for that spread of volume up front so you, I could actually feel like I could sort of apply pressure anyway. I was suggesting oh, you, you can come up here Tom if you want. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because yeah. we both have exactly the same board here. We both, we've gone little custom dims because the stock dims start at 5.6 so it's right. a little chunky for right. little man like you and mm. man Tommy. Yeah. So we're going 5, 4, 19 and a quarter, yes. 2 and 5, 16, which I probably did on the cookie a little bit. I mean, there's man, actually I quite like a it. lot packed in this little man. I like it. I, I like it. You know, it challenges me. That's what I well, like. That's what I thought. I thought yeah. that's what we're here for, you know. Two-time yeah. world champ. He's won some five yeah. masters. I mean, let's challenge this guy. When we look at the board, and we look down the board, when we look at the plan shape, we see there's so much fin behind this flyer compared to the AMT. Yep. And that changed when I went to go and turn up front, it just stopped me from turning up front yep. a little bit. Yep. Whereas the last couple of ways when I went back, I went, okay, I'm gonna stand back a bit and stay there. Then it started to do its thing. 
It's a funny one though, Tom. I think it's like a beer. A big cold beer. Yeah. You, know, you start on a beer, okay. you can't mix your beers. Yeah, that's it. We, we, you we got started, the feel. You, we got the feel. It's the feeling. Mm. I already had the feeling in the sweet spot, and mixing up the fins slightly changed that sweet spot. I was literally, there was one right, I was hanging on on your board yeah. when we swapped, and it was drifting off the bottom. Yeah. But then when I watch yeah. you, it wasn't doing that because yeah. you had found that different sweet spot with the AMT. So it's actually a performance twin. Still got some curve in there. Still got some curve. It needs a little bit of grunt behind the wave. That's what I'm feeling. Once it's got the grunt behind it, it's happy. And you can see it in, in that sequence of Tom and Burra, the board just loving the power. Yeah. Burra's got some grunt. It's not just a, any old bit of fluff. fluff. <laughs> <laughs> It was about as point breaky as we get around here. <laughs> so we got pretty lucky, Tom. We do. We always do our last minute oh, calls. Oh, we got Mother sun. Nature just goes, let's do this thing. Just Tommy like... and Luca show. Let's show them what we got. <laughs> yeah, good. It's always yeah. a pleasure, Tommy. Always. Tell you what, Brent, Al, Tom Curran, Thank what you. a sweet little combo. Thank you very much. That's what's going on. <laughs> Oh, make, make